Gains Chimay, swoop of Zaffle. Wadissa, Bernarli Kadab, Sir Bava. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome on back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking my video. If you are new, welcome on in. My name is Simavala. 
but you can call me Rala. We are here with a brand new series. This is Cooking with the Chew Sisters, and we are now in San Sequoia. I love San Sequoia. It's just such a beautiful world. It's actually becoming one of my favorite worlds. Um, the family lives in the Hopewell Hills area in San Sequoia. It's like a little suburban town um, just outside of the main town. So yeah, so let's go meet the family. Yay. Um, when I left you off, guys, I left you off with dad being in the hospital. But don't worry because he is... He is okay, um, but he does have a chronic condition, and we're going to get to that in a little bit, but look at mom. Mom is outside. She's just coming home from work. She is working in retail, and the reason why mom now was working in retail, she was actually a stay-at-home mom, even though she had grown children. She's always stayed at home. Uh, she she uh, was working alongside with her husband in the bakery and she was doing her yoga like yoga meditation fitness is just everything to mrs. Chu and her name is Misha uh, she's very passionate about that but not that she gave it all up but she had to like put it aside because her husband you know and his new illness uh, she went back to work let me take you guys all the way up so you guys can see the outside of the house it's so beautiful uh i got this off the gallery i would put the person's name right on the screen and i just love it it's so nice and it's just the perfect size for the chu family here is um in this area over here uh, this is basically like uh, an enclosed type patio, a greenhouse, not a greenhouse, but like, you know, one of those patio rooms. Uh, they have different names for it, um, depending on where you live. But this is where the family has like family game night, whether with each other or with friends. Um, sometimes the girls, well, let me not say the girls, let me just say Gemma. Gemma is the youngest. Gemma has like friends coming over and they would just like hang out over there and play some card games and whatnot um, mom has her her yarn um, she she's a lover of plants she loves the outdoors she also loves gardening and all that stuff and fresh herbs and stuff like that especially when it comes to the cooking because this family is really big on cooking but this little area over here where the computer is at it's where mom and dad basically does do their budget and you know for the business but let's talk about the business let's talk about the bakery <sighs> the bakery had to go on sale guys they sold the bakery because mr chu's hospital bills were outrageous and it was definitely taking a toll on the entire household financially um and that is what they had to do look at me i'm going back into this hgtv mode <laughs> Okay, but we're going to do a walkthrough anyway of the home. But I just wanted to show you guys these pictures. Um, so I got the family pictures. And basically they, not tell a story, but you can see when the girls were younger. And if you follow me on Twitter or if you check out the community tab, I always try to update you guys in the community tab section of this channel. Uh, I have posted these pictures of the girls when they were younger. This is like back in maybe like 2009. This is Luna and Jen. Gemma, when they really got along, they were really close, but very different. They're very different uh, people. <laughs> um, this is mom, you know, trying to be fair. Yeah, so yeah, this is where the choose. They definitely have a good time. And there's dad. Look at dad. Dad is looking up. Yes. <laughs> He's thanking the Lord. Dad is sitting here. Actually, dad has to go to a dialysis appointment because dad has kidney disease it is a chronic condition he is not a hundred percent but he is doing much better um than he was prior dad is taking it easy dad needs to really rest and have peace and quiet during this time so like i said the family is stepping up they are trying to help out dad and we're gonna learn 
a little bit more of our hung in a little bit. But let me, let me, while I'm in, over here, let me show you guys the rest of the house. This is the family room. This is where everybody is like meets and just hangs out uh, because it's, it's the open layout basically. And uh, we have the living room, we have the dining area, and then we have the kitchen. Now the kitchen is not a big kitchen. Um, it's your average size kitchen, really, um, for this area in San Sequoia. And that's just because the Chews had their bakery, so they had like two kitchens. So it wasn't really a need to have the chef uh, kitchen. But yeah, I love it. I love this home. It's just so perfect for the Chews. And this is where mom and dad sleeps. This is their bedroom. It's just a typical you know, bedroom where they can just cozy up together. Nothing fancy with this household at all. Just a very simple um, furnishings. Everything is just so nice and neat and clean. Um, this is where mom does her meditation, her yoga. But then also dad has, does a little bit of woodwork. You know, he gets his little, he gets his little hobbies in there every now and then. But most of the time, Misha is kicking Hong out anyway because she wants peace and quiet when she is meditating and that's their bathroom there to the basement and this is where Gemma is yes my girl Gemma okay so this is her bedroom this is where she hangs out I love her bedroom it is nothing but Gemma in here this is Gemma's personality she is like listen Gemma don't hold back for nobody okay she is a gamer as you can see um, she definitely does stream just like we do <laughs> or just like I do I don't know if you're a streamer or anything like that that's watching but um, yeah she does she has her merch over here on the side uh, Pac-Man Pac-Man is one of my favorite games so I had to put that in there sorry guys <laughs> yeah you know and she just loves to just hang out and do what she do you know this is Gemma this is what she do this is where she can definitely get away from everyone you know what while we are here and hanging out with Gemma let's let's learn a little bit about Gemma let me tell you guys a little bit about her traits okay Gemma is very childish um she's just a kid at heart um, that child is really in a bad way. She doesn't mean to be like that, but that, you know, she just loves life. Um, she loves to have fun. That is Gemma, which, which goes hand in hand with being adventurous. She loves to go out. She loves to do whatever she can do, something new. She loves to go to new places. She loves to travel. She loves to meet new people. Every day she's going to be meeting a new person. <laughs> So you guys are definitely going to see Gemma, you know, it's going to be a new person every day. Whether it's going to be a new friendship or a new love interest, it, that's just Gemma and that's how she is. Gemma also has ADHD, um, so it's very hard for her to, to kind of focus, and which explains a lot about Gemma. I know how she feels because it's... That's where I'm at in my life. It's very hard for me sometimes to actually focus. It's like when I'm doing one thing, like right now, like I'm recording right now and I'm talking to you guys, and but on the other screen, I'm doing something else. <laughs> I'm doing something else. So yeah, I definitely, I, I get easily distracted. I really do, uh, which, which is why it takes me a little bit long to get these videos out. Um, but you guys are so understanding and I appreciate that. All right, so Gemma, as far as her health is concerned, she's good. Uh, I have the Deep Indigo Healthcare Redux mod, which is all about healthcare, which is why this is why, you know, I'm feeding you all this information. Um, she doesn't want kids right now. Gemma is not having kids. Uh, but you know what? Gemma is smart. Gemma, let me guys tell you, this is a smart cookie. You, listen, she is business savvy. She knows her way around things. She knows how to get things done as far as when it comes to like business. You know, she knows how to talk to people. You know, her charisma skills should be up. She's great. 
Okay, when it comes to things like that. And you know what? Gemma is a Sims influencer, or at least she tries to be. <laughs> she tries to be. And she's a night owl, so she works from like 9 to 11, which is nothing. It's two hours out of the day whenever she goes to work. And she does a little bit of odd jobs here and there. So Gemma really needs to step up and do her part, which is why... Uh, her, her sister has these arguments. Gemma had confronted Luna about the conversation she had overheard with their father. Uh, sure neighbors are. <laughs> uh, marble. Funny. Funny. Do the wall cake. Range. To Noba. To Floopy Asper. Missy Lafana, Flanabi, Pinterest, Missy Epony, Visa, Teru, So, So, Nah, Bumal, Uh huh, Yeah, Uh, Pack your own limla, Kibaya, Uh, Nabor, Brasa, Fraspa. Oh, oh team Pardue, Pardue. Humble <sighs> and salt. Ayuya, Harry oh. Shub. <laughs> Wimble and Sola. Mom Misha just wanted to get the girls out the house so she can have some alone time with Hong, Dad. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But Mom really wants the girls to do something together to bring back that bond they had when they were little. The girls were so cute. But now we're going to get back into Mom and learn about her traits. Uh, Misha... She's neat, and that is just coming from her being a stay-at-home mom. You know, she had she would, she would clean the house and pick up after the girls when they were little and stuff. So she just uh, has this neat personality. Uh, I definitely feel her on that. And she is tender, which means she is just loving. That's a custom. That is a custom trait. So she is tender. She's loving, and she just loves the outdoors. But she's good on her health. Thank. Thank goodness for that because we can only take one sick person in the family. Um, she's holding it down. She's keeping herself strong for her husband. Her and Han have been married for 28 years, guys. They have originally come from Mount Kanabi. Um, the girls were were born here in San Sequoia. They lived in San Sequoia all their life. And they dreamed of owning a bakery. And they got the bakery. But you know they had to sell it and stuff like that. So that's what's really, really sad about this story. And she has her spa membership, guys. Like I told you before, she is definitely into yoga and meditation and keeping fit and all that stuff. Works from 9 to 1. It's kind of like part-time. I think she'll be doing this for a while until the family gets enough money to where they can rebuy their bakery or start something new again. They're not going to give up on their dreams, guys. They're just not going to do it. Luna, Luna actually is at work. We will meet her when she comes home. She graduated from college. Uh, she has her culinary degree. She graduated from Britchester. And uh, she doesn't cook. <laughs> well, she cooks, you know what I'm saying? She cooks the basic stuff, but I don't even know how she graduated because she really can't cook. But she is, she's that person, now picture this, she's that person who loves everything about food. She loves the technical thing about food you know recipes and 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 the and the food that goes in there the nutrition factor and and just all of that stuff but she doesn't get down and dirty she doesn't cook like she should cook you know on the wall as you can see she's got all the culinary herbs she does her research she constantly studies her job she is a food critic so once again she's not a chef she's not in the kitchen 
She is going from place to place, which is really exciting, actually. And she, you know, she tells people if, if their food is good or not good. Uh, she has everything nice and neat in, the, in its place. And this is her room. This is where she is staying. Um, this is where she grew up. But it's a little bit more, obviously, more adult-like. She changed it up. Uh, she makes money, honey in this critic business okay let me let me let me let me show you guys she makes 250 dollars a freaking hour i know you're wondering why nuna just doesn't give her parents the money to buy back the bakery first luna just accepted this job offer so it's new and she hasn't really saved up enough money and second the parents misha and hung have so much pride, they would never accept money from their children. So if Luna and even Gemma wants to help out financially, they have to come up with a way secretly to give to their parents. Right, so let me, even though Luna's not here, let's just dig a little bit deep into her uh, personality. And this girl's got personality. Uh, she's a little bit short-tempered. And that's a custom trait, uh, which basically she's angry and mean. Not mean, but like she, she she's a hot head. She's a hot freaking head. She gets upset. Uh, and that has to deal with her perfectionist, being a perfectionist. You know, she wants everything to be perfect all the freaking time. So when it's not perfect, boom, she blows up. Or if you're telling her something that she knows she's right about, she blows up. Uh, she's a foodie. She does love food, you know. Like I said, the whole family does. And uh, she is business savvy herself. She is a smart cookie. After all, she does have her degree. Uh, yeah, so let's get back to Gemma. And we're going to have Gemma start cooking. We're going to have Gemma actually start selling. Gemma is dressed and she is ready to, actually she cannot sell food because she needs to make food. But I am going to have dad go to his dialysis appointment. So I'm just going to go here. He's going to make the call because he needs to go to dialysis. Go to dialysis appointment, um, you know, for his kidney disease. He has to go. Um, Mom, mom's going to go with husband and hold his hand. So, Mama's going to go with him. Wow, Gemma is alone in the house. Lord knows what's going to happen. But Gemma's going to go ahead. She's going to make a couple of things to sell. Because she feels like she can make more money than Luna. Um, so, we are going to make... Uh, she doesn't have much of, a, of, of the cooking skills. <laughs> she really doesn't. Um, we do have dough. Dad made some dough. So, mm, dad made the ingredients. So, we're going to do that. Um, hopefully, Gemma can stay focused. Um, oh, we can make pizza. We're going to make a pizza and we're going to sell a pizza. Um, cook. Oh, okay. All she could do is the cheese pizza because her cooking level is... A little bit oh we don't have garlic and we don't have tomatoes um we're not going to use the fresh ingredients <laughs> because Gemma don't have the time nor the patience for it but next time we'll we'll get all the fresh ingredients i'm quite sure when luna sells her stuff she's gonna have the fresh ingredients she's gonna make sure of it at least we're gonna have to make sure of it all right, so Gemma has her dough. She's making some bread. She's going to sell that. She can't sell any of this because this was not made by her. That was made by her mom, and that's about to expire. And this was actually made by Luna. So Luna can use that when she comes home. If, she, you know, she has time. All right, Gemma, look at you, girl. All right, and she's focused, so that's good. Wait, is she making the bread and the pizza? Gemma, are you multitasking? <laughs> I don't know. What happened to the bread? Did she just forget it? Empty oven. Okay, it's in the oven. 
she's got the pizza okay so she's got that one we're gonna make the cheese pizza um, okay looks good and looks good Gemma I don't know what the quality is we're gonna have to check that change business details we're just gonna call this Gemma's grubs Gemma's grub okay we're gonna put the pizzas there so that's the two pizzas um and then she's gonna start a food sale all right, Gemma, let's see what you got, girlfriend. She's like, I'm going to make money, and I'm going to make my mom and dad proud of me. And I'm going to sell these two pizzas. We're just testing this out. She has to use the bathroom. Um, Bob Pancake Stinks. She's like, child, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in your gossip. And Gemma's not going to last long because she has to pee. Oh, mom and dad just got back from dialysis appointment. Let's check on dad. Um, recent dialysis treatment. Hung has completed a dialysis treatment and we'll need to go back for another one in a couple of days. Okay, so needed in three days. Okay, so she's selling. Looks like all the neighbors are here. They're very interested in what Gemma is selling. She's like, guys, come on. This is like the best pizza you're ever going to have. They're actually normal quality and they're only about $4 a slice. Oh, it's a lot of people. She's feeling a little overwhelmed. Okay. You like it? It's really good. Smells good, doesn't it? All right. So she is getting money. And it's going into her Help Mom and Dad account. $4. She is actually selling, guys. And she's about to pee on herself. <laughs> I know, Gemma, I'm not going to help you. I'm not doing any cheats. She quit. She's going. And this is something that Gemma will naturally do. You know? She'll leave all the food out there. Look at Luna. And Luna is so uncomfortable. Luna is looking and she's like, I can't believe my sister is actually selling food in front of our house. Like, how horrible is that she couldn't even go into town and then on top of everything else she leaves it unattended seriously like Gemma grow up like Luna is so disgusted right now you know she had a long day she worked really really hard and to come home to this you know, her parents are probably upstairs sleeping. And Gemma is just so irresponsible. She just goes. And Luna doesn't even know that. It's just only Gemma had to go to the bathroom. But this is how, this is what Luna comes home to. You know, she comes home to the crowd outside of her house. Uh, plates all over the, the yard. Gemma is not there to attend anything. So she sees this as being irresponsible. But we know that Gemma only had to go to the bathroom. You get what I'm saying? All right. So she's going to go straight to bed, actually. Gemma is in the bathroom. She's going to come back. And she's going to tend to the table. She still has time. And there's still pizza left. And here Gemma is. She's back. She's going to tend to the table. Right? Can you talk to some of your customers? Oh no, Gemma actually has to go to work in an hour. She has to go to work in an hour. So when it's time for her to go to work, she's just going to leave. Now the cheese pizza is $3. Mark up the prices, Gemma. 
she's gonna mark them up 50% so now the cheese pizza is four dollars and the marinara pizza is six dollars come on guys I know you love this pizza a girl we are not gonna buy your pizza you are nasty and stinky not Gemma being stinky oh my gosh Gemma for the moon the moon is rising it's like come on guys I'm doing this for my mom and dad can you give me a break here they're like well the pizza isn't bad but you know what? strangely enough she's doing pretty good there she goes see she didn't even shut it down <laughs> she just basically walks away she's at work now sale is over she's like i can't believe this my sister is ridiculous and i'm gonna have to show her what it looks like to do a proper sale no matter how tired i am and i'm just gonna blow her away and maybe this stupid little competition will be over So Gemma is home and she is going to go take a shower. She's like, well, since Luna is taking care of things, I don't need to. Cooking is delectable. Yes, of course, Dad. You love cooking. Mom and Dad are in the kitchen. He cooked his wife a nice little meal. He's like, Luna, honey, get yourself something to eat, Dad. I am just too tired. I am too exhausted. But uh, let me show you guys the uh, the sister's bank accounts. So for Luna, um, she has the family savings. She has already $1,500. Um, this is Luna's personal bank account. This is for her future, as you can see, Luna's future. This is her checking account. This is like for her goals and dreams and stuff that she wants to achieve. But this is for the family and uh, she made sure that her mom and dad's name was on the account. She has $1,500 already. Um, and then Gemma, as you've seen when we were selling, it came up, help mom and dad fund. She only has $148 in that account and she owns it, but she's still going to be giving it to her mom and dad. Um, and this is her living life for living life fun account she has a little bit uh 247 dollars it's for Gemma to do whatever Gemma wants to do with her money um but the goal overall guys the goal for the sisters is to earn at least thirty thousand dollars and above um to give to their parents to uh for the parents to be able to buy the bakery again so that is the goal so luna mom and dad they all went to bed Gemma's up eating you know the rest of the dinner smiling happy <laughs> because they all went to bed and they left her alone but you know Gemma likes to do a lot of things late at night so even though she's a little bit tired that's nothing for Gemma she right now is craving social and she needs a hookup well in the sims it's called a woke up yeah so she's gonna eat she like I said she is craving some social interaction and uh yeah so she is gonna call up somebody this guy <laughs> aj rst he's a young adult he's in the military so you know he's like he'll be popping in and out maybe uh he's lazy he's a dance machine and bro personality traits high level career independent and handy um, turn on its orange hair color. Well, body muscle and a rocker style. Perfect. Okay. Turn off. He doesn't like a great cook and someone who's active. He doesn't like ghosts or cults. Woohoo style is submissive and kinky. 
Um, <laughs> and he likes somebody who likes the lights off and uh, a behind enthusiast. Gemma arrived. They agreed. Uh, her and her woke up. <laughs> agreed to um, meet at this club downtown in San Sequoia. And um, he's still in his uniform. You know, he's military. And uh, yeah, uh, I think he is possessed. He's possessed, Gemma. See, this is why you don't meet strange people at like after midnight. Ain't nothing good happening after midnight, Gemma. This is definitely not going to work out. I was like, what is wrong with you, dude? Like, hello? Uh, look, she's looking at this guy over here. <laughs> look at her, she's slapping him. It's like, wake up. Okay, you see, he's not so that bad when he is not being possessed. Okay, you're cute. Let's go. Me and you, right here. So like, well, this was interesting. Thanks a lot, AJ. <laughs> Gemma. Well, Gemma just got home <laughs> from that crazy uh, night meeting. And look at her. She feels pretty good about herself. It's exactly what she wanted to do. It was what she needed. Um, and that's just how Jenna... That is just how Gemma lives her life. All right, so Luna is a little bit disgusted and a little bit upset. Uh, she found out what her sister did last night. <laughs> um, it just gets worse every time, doesn't it? Uh, but she's gonna start out her day. Um, she's gonna we're gonna tackle her needs. She's gonna start cooking some um stuff. Now that she has the stuff, she's gonna prep some ingredients. She is going to be prepping some batter because she's gonna make some waffles and she's gonna prep some vegetables. Mom and dad are just the cutest. They are kissing. I was like, Mom, Dad, come on. I'm trying to cook here. Luna was telling Gemma and her mom that Gemma didn't do things right. She shouldn't have sold food in front of the house. And she should have been looking more professional. So Luna is going into town. Luna is naming her little business Luna's Delights. Luna has made four items that she wants to sell. Um, she made a cheese pizza. It's normal quality. Like I said, Luna is not the greatest chef, um, but she did use fresh ingredients. Um, and she made a pizza margarita. <laughs> um, but she also made some gingerbread cupcakes. What? And then she also made some berry waffles. So Luna is very prepared. She even bought the appliances with her, okay? And our girl Luna even changed into her professional gear. She's like, if I'm going to play the part, I'm going to look the part. Everyone seems to be busy. She's not getting any customers. Finally, the locals are coming to Luna's food stall. Luna, you can't talk to her like that now. Come on, you have to be nice. <gasps> what is he doing? Who are you? You can't be making pizza. Marcus Flex? Luna, 
You cannot have this man come up in your business. You have to tell him to go away, Luna. Go away. He cannot be making pizza here. And we cannot sell that because that's something that Luna did not make. We're going to convince him. Now, she's selling the margarita pizza for $14 a slice. So, as you can see, she has better skills in communicating with customers than Gemma does. And Gemma actually didn't really care. <laughs> you can tell Gemma did not care. But Luna is working really hard. Luna is almost finished her sales. Um, I'm going to have Luna quit a little bit early just because the whole time Gemma didn't, was unable to finish the sale because she had to go to work. Luna is so mean she made this customer cry. That's crazy, Luna. Tense. That girl pissed off. She... And it's so funny because Luna, guys, it's so funny because Luna was complaining about Gemma walking away from the food stand while she had a sale going on. And here we are in a very similar situation where Luna just walked away pissed off and angry because the customer got her upset. And she walked away from the food stand. So, I don't know, Luna. You're sounding like a hypocrite. The sale is over. And uh, she's packing up and putting things away. She's extremely intense. She did uh, acquire the entrepreneur skill. Um, but she made $100. Which is not the greatest. But it's way better than her sister. The Chu family is having their game night, listening to Luna gloat about her win. Guys, the first episode is done, and I am so glad you guys joined me today. Um, Luna be Gemma, so one for Luna. But Gemma is probably saying, I got some loving last night, so technically, I am the winner. <laughs> Oh, Gemma. You know what? Shoot, I'll probably be saying the same thing. But anyway, guys, listen, stay tuned for the next episode because the sisters are really going to get into the rules. They're going to work out all the little kinks. Uh, and they're most likely going to be fighting about it in another location. But listen, in the comments below, let me know which location, where in the Simish world, will Luna and Gemma go. Um, I really, I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna, going to decide. So, um, and if you are new and you like this content and you don't want to miss another episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you hit that bell. It will let you know whenever I upload any new content. I'm Simarala. And I'm signing out, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye.